Hello everybody. Just making a short video on the installation and the parts involved in a CO2 installation. I put this unit on my 65 gallon aquarium yesterday. So I'm going to run through the installation and uh, a few of the parts involved. So first of all I'm going to show you the the diffuser which I put in my tank there it is on the wall down there uh, you can see how small the bubbles are the smaller the bubbles the better for your aquarium it runs up and I've got a power head just above it probably about six inches above which spreads the uh, CO2 bubbles throughout the tank which is what you want to do on my installation here I did it a little bit different because I don't have much room underneath the tank in the, in the cupboard below because I have a sump down there so I didn't really have much room for the, uh, the tank and I wanted to be able to get at it so what I have done, I ran it through the wall. I have a small room here right beside my aquarium, which is uh, the furnace room. So I was able to run the hose through the wall at the back. And I'm going to give you a shot of where I installed it. So I mounted it on the wall here I have a few supplies that I've put in this uh, little room here for my aquarium so I'm going to run through a few of the parts involved in hooking up a CO2 unit I used a paintball tank uh, it's a good idea to use a the larger, largest uh, tank that you can in the long run you will save a lot of money so I've hooked up a paintball cylinder this is a 20 ounce paintball tank you'll need an adapter which is that blue one that you can see right in the middle because a, a regulator will not hook onto this cylinder unless you get an adapter for it so the blue one you have to get it's a good idea to put some tape on the threads when you uh, hook it up so this is the regulator down here uh, this one has only one gauge on it and the gauge uh, shows you the uh, pressure in your cylinder in pounds per square inch and this one this unit has a solenoid on the back which I wanted to get a solenoid on mine because then you can hook it up to a timer so it'll come on and off automatically this regulator does not have a valve to control the uh, CO2 so that's what the solenoid does on this one uh, there is an adjustment on the side of the solenoid that you can uh, the bubble count it's hard to see on this unit but this one has a, a bubble counter just below it so you can adjust the bubbles accordingly so this runs this plugs in I've got it plugged in below my aquarium on a timer uh, it comes on one hour before the lights and shuts off one hour before the lights on the aquarium go off So it's very handy that way. I don't have to touch it. It's all automatic And uh, like I said it comes through the wall on the hoses uh, This these are silicone tubing you make sure you should make sure that you uh, put a check valve in somewhere between the line coming to it that way when it 
goes off there's no water coming back through the line so I want to talk about a little bit about the savings on the CO2 tanks um, like I said the larger your tank you're going to save money because I, on my flu valve flora that I have I have a a flu valve 88 unit but the tanks are really small they're only 88 grams which don't last that long and to buy those they're expensive to fill one of these uh, 20 ounce tanks it costs between three and uh, I think I paid her like six dollars to fill this one I'm up in Canada so in the States it probably should be cheaper I paid about six bucks to fill this tank which will I'm not sure how long it'll last because I just hooked it up but I'm sure it's gonna last a lot longer than an 88 gram unit so that's my hookup I put it through the wall because like I said I don't have the room underneath my aquarium I'll give you a shot of my sump down below that's my sump down below the tank which cleans my tank very well but like I said I don't have the room down in there to install my CO2 unit so uh, I ran it through the wall and it and it worked out pretty good so that's uh, some information on hooking up a co2 unit to your tank thanks for watching and please subscribe if you haven't already done that bye for now